First, you touched on this in your talk, but can you expound on why you hold such support for the filibuster, especially when many others in your party have opposing views? That's such a great question, Madeline. You know, Senator McConnell mentioned this in his opening remarks, and I mentioned it in, in my remarks as well. The danger of eliminating the 60-vote threshold is that the Senate becomes the House. And I remind everyone, I, I left the House and ran for the Senate for a reason. <laughs> I remember my early years, I, I served for uh, six years in the House of Representatives. And I remember being so frustrated during those six years because it felt like every time there was a big bipartisan solution that needed to happen, the Senate just kind of came up with a solution and then gave it to the House and we just ate it. And um, that's why I ran for the Senate. <laughs> yeah. I thought, wait a second, they're doing the work. So when Republicans are in control, they pass a little bit of crazy legislation. And when the Re Democrats are in control, they pass a little bit of crazy legislation. And the job of the Senate is to cool that passion. You know, there's a saying that uh, the House is the cup of hot tea, and the Senate is the saucer in which you cool that tea. The Senate was designed to be a place that moves slowly, to cool down those passions, to think more strategically and long term about the legislation before us. But the best thing you can do for your child is to not give them everything they want, right? And that's important in the United States Senate as well. We shouldn't get everything we want in the moment. So not only am I committed to the 60 vote threshold, I have an incredibly unpopular view. I actually think we should restore the 60 vote threshold for the areas in which it has been eliminated already. We should restore it. Yeah, not everyone likes that. Um, 